Hey, this is Leo, and these are the most important new features and improvements in AbleSet 2.2. Let's get started with the setlist view, which has got a new option called Auto Expand the Current Song. To enable this, we can go to the AbleSet Settings menu, then go to Setlist and Auto Expand the Current Song. When we click that, you'll see that the current song uh, automatically expands here. And if I jump to the next song, uh, let's do it like this, you can see that they expand as well, showing the sections of the song. This also works during playback, so if we go to the end of this song, for example, you'll see that the next song automatically expands, showing you all of the available sections. Next, let's take a look at the performance view, which has two new features. And let's start with the visual metronome. So what you can do is you go to settings and enable the visual metronome. And now if I start playback, You'll see that you have a flashing metronome behind all of the information, which is helpful if, for example, you accidentally lose your in-ears or uh, you just need a visual cue to see what is actually happening. The next feature is section colors. And to show you this, I'll go to a song where I've added some colors to my sections. You can see that here in the set list view. And now if I go to the performance view, I click on settings and then on section colors, you'll see that each section color is now represented in the progress bar, which makes it a lot easier to see when a chorus is, for example, coming in or when the verse is coming in and so on. You can also see that the tags that show the current and the next section take on the section color. So for example, if I was in the verse currently, um, the current section would be yellow and the next section would be lime. And the visual metronome that I showed you earlier also changes colors based on the current section. So now we are at the end of the verse. And now going onto the chorus, the visual metronome switches to green or lime in this case. Next, let's take a look at lyrics. So if I go to the lyrics page here, there are now some new customization options. And the first one is uh, a progress bar per line, which I can enable by adding progress to the track name. And what this will do, uh, if I just jump to the start of the song here, is it will basically tell you where in the current line you are. This feels a bit more like a karaoke view and this might not be for everyone, so I made it an option. You can enable it if you like. The next option allows you to hide all of the section headers and the song headers. To do that, you just add you know, sections to the track name and that basically hides all of the headers. Uh, so now you only have the lyrics in here. You can now also add line breaks to lyrics. So uh, to show you that, I've created a new lyrics track. And what this looks like in the clip is that you can add multiple lines delimited by a backward slash. And now all the lines in this clip are highlighted at the same time, which is something that you might want. Uh, so it looks like this or like this, or uh, if you want to have three lines in one block, it could look like this. You can now also customize the color of chords. And to show you this, I've just created a chord track and uh, switched to that in the lyrics view. And if you want to change the color of chords, uh, you can just add that like this, chords, let's say red, for example. And there you go, now your chords are red and maybe a bit easier to see from a distance. The next feature is a bit more advanced and allows you to delay or time shift the lyrics track by a certain number of milliseconds. So for example, if you are streaming your lyrics window to another monitor on stage and you know there's going to be a 150 milliseconds delay in that, you can add that to the lyrics track as well. Just write in square brackets minus 150 milliseconds and that'll time shift the entire lyrics track by 150 milliseconds. To show this in action a bit more clearly, I'm just going to multiply this by 10. So let's do 1.5 seconds instead. And I'm just going to start playback here. And you can now see that the lyrics lines start earlier or more precisely 1.5 seconds earlier than they are um, audible. The same works in the other direction as well. 
So I could do plus 1.5 seconds or 1,500 milliseconds. And there you go. This is hopefully a bit easier than moving all of your lyrics clips around just to accommodate for these kinds of delays. Ableset 2.2 comes with a bunch of other features and improvements. If you want to see everything that has changed, feel free to check out the changelog link below. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or feedback, and I wish you a great day.